Alright, so first I'm just putting on some chapstick and then going with my Mario Badascu facial spray, the lavender one is my jam. Also I got this sweatshirt for 20 bucks off of Etsy and it looks just like the Burnett the Label one which is $80. They have every type of hair color like blonde, brunette, redhead. Um, I'll link it below. But then I'm going in with the Rock Retinol Correction Deep Wrinkle Serum. I like to use this when I don't want to use my different in the morning. I've also been using it on my neck and I feel like I've definitely noticed a difference. Their skincare is supposed to be really good. It's not talked about on YouTube, but it's definitely um, a highly ranked drugstore brand. And then I've been going in with the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Water Gel Oil Free Moisturizer. And then lastly, I use the Cola Face SPF 30 Mineral Sunscreen, the Cucumber Matte Finish one is amazing it feels like you're rubbing pearls into your skin and then you feel so matte afterwards so if you have oily skin you will love it and then I'm mixing two foundations the YSL all hours foundation and the makeup forever forever matte the new foundation um, the more I use the YSL one the more I love it and I feel like mixing these two together together gives you the fullest coverage and keeps you so mad. So I've been loving this lately. Then I'm going in with the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Loving this stuff. to go in and set it with the Becca under eye brightening setting powder also I sadly accidentally erased the footage of me doing my eye makeup for this look I really wanted to include it in this video but it got deleted so now it's just going to be a foundation routine for the best foundation for oily skin because this has been my favorite routine lately for my oily skin and that's also why I included the skincare at the beginning because that's been helping keep me matte as well. And now I'm going in with the new Lancome Long Time No Shine Translucent Setting Powder. Y'all, this stuff is just, I mean, no words. No words. It makes your skin look flawlessly airbrushed, keeps you matte. I think it keeps me more matte than the Laura Mercier one. Plus it's oil-free, which the Laura Mercier one isn't. Not that I felt like that made a difference, but I prefer my products to be oil-free since I am oily. With that being said though, I think this powder would be great for normal skin. If you just have an oily T-zone and the rest of your face is dry, I think it would still work great. As far as super dry skin goes, it might cling to dry patches, so I'm not sure about that. Um, and then I did go in with the Anastasia Dip Brow, and I'm just filling in my brows. I'm going to probably do most of this off camera. Now I'm going in with the L'Oreal Pro Contour Palette. Now I'm going with the L'Oreal Lumi True Match Bronzer and just bronzing up the three on my face. So that's just my cheekbones, under my chin, and my forehead. And now I'm using the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Sculpting Blush in 140 Alluring Rose. This color is highly similar to NARS Deep Throat. And 
And then I just went in with the Wet n Wild Boozy Brunch Highlighter. And now I'm going in with the Merle Norman Lip Liner in the color Neutrals. Awesome lip liner, wear it with probably half my lipsticks, love it. As we finish up this look, I am curious what you guys like to see. If you like to see foundation reviews or face makeup or eye looks or just new makeup reviews, it seems like people don't really watch eye tutorials as much anymore. But yeah, I'm curious. Let me know below what you like to watch. And then I'm going in with the Bite Beauty lipstick in Meringue. <laughs> Lastly, using a little bit of the Bare Minerals lip gloss in Groovy. So prepare yourself for a very brief and out of focus outro because... That's all I had. That is the finished look. I will leave all the products I use below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.